This edition of My Thoughts Monday is brought to you by Valve Performance, the team behind the Nordboard, Force Decks, the Groin Bar, and Human Track. Guys, the most important ability for all of our athletes is availability, and that's the absolute goal of Valve Performance, is to provide solutions to performance professionals so that we can get the right information to make the right decision at the right time for the betterment of the athletes that we get to work with. To do this, guys, they have a wide range of validated products that focus on usability, And having been founded by the School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences at the Queensland University of Technology, they're extremely evidence-based and they're beyond transparent. I can tell you that our time using the Nordboard and being involved with Force Decks, we have been introduced to so many amazing people that have truly helped us become better coaches, have a better understanding, not just of the technology, but also what we're doing with our athletes. So make sure you hop over to ValPerformance.com today to make sure you check out what they got. It's going to make you better and to do better by your athletes. Being a strength and conditioning professional requires constant pursuit of better knowledge, better methods, and better means. But what if there was a place where strength and conditioning coaches could learn from some of the most innovative practitioners in the world, such as Jeff Moyer, Lachlan Wilmot, William Wayland, James the Thinker Smith, and Cure When I'm Flat. Well, you can find multiple lectures from each of these top level coaches and a few lectures and examples from yours truly as well, all in the Strength Coach Network. The Strength Coach Network is gonna bring you well over a hundred different lectures from some of the top practitioners in the world to be your one-stop shop for your continuing education and professional development. So hop on over to strengthcoachnetwork.com slash today and get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. That's strengthcoachnetwork.com slash CVASPS to get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. I look forward to seeing you in the Strength Coach Network. Hey guys, this is Nick DeMarco filling in for this week's My Thoughts Monday. Just going to be giving a brief overview of my presentation for next July's seminar and kind of what to expect from that. And I just want to preface it by saying thanks to Jay and everyone involved with CVAS for giving me the chance to come present this year. It's a conference that I've attended. Uh, Myself and everyone on our staff attended last year, and it was a conference that we took a great deal away from. Um, I know for myself personally, it's the best conference that I've attended, not only because of the quality of the presenters that were there last year, but just the environment that's been created there. It's a lot of great professionals who are really eager to learn, um, really eager to share information, and just a bunch of people who are trying to collaborate and and get better and drive this field forward. So I'm very excited to be uh, able to come and present, um, and not only present, come listen to a great lineup of of other speakers that I have a lot of respect for as well. So kind of digging into my topic, I'll be speaking on agility, Um, It's something that I've spoke on Jay's podcast about before um, briefly. I've talked about it on a few other podcasts as well. And it's something that's kind of gaining some traction within the field of sports performance here. I think people are finally understanding the benefits of it, um, how to implement it, and kind of getting over that fear of uh, it looks really chaotic. It's, It's not just running around cones that are easy to set up. Um... And I think people are finally understanding the difference between change of direction and agility. Um, So I think it's it's an important topic to discuss um, just because I think it's an important topic as far as actually pushing athletes forward and developing them as athletes and remembering that that's our main goal. So kind of the layout of the presentation will be what is agility first off and um, kind of sharing the background on a lot of great people who have have driven me towards this direction. Um, some of my staff members, um, people within the field, uh, a good friend of mine, Cam Joss, who him and Fergus Conley just wrote The Process. They touched on it a great deal within their book. Um, kind of giving a shout out to them and, and where have we gone from that, kind of building off what they have uh, put out, the information that they've supplied. And after we talk about why it's important, um, breaking down what exactly it is, we'll delineate between 
um, are the differences between change of direction and agility and how we progress those things in a separate manner and where we start from, where we end at. I'll talk about the categories that we break our agility program down into. Uh, We have three categories that we separate everything into and give a lot of general um, all the way up to specific examples. And that won't just fall in line with football, the sport that I work with the most, but we'll give some examples of uh, basketball, soccer, other field and court sports, um, and how to go about actually applying these things within your setting. Um, so it won't just be the uh, principles and, and concepts. There'll be some true immediate takeaways as long as they fit your situation and the athletes that you work with. And then we'll progress into um, kind of the one of the more important things of the results that we have seen from this. So we implement it because we think it has a huge impact on sport, uh, even though I think one of the big hiccups that most people have with agility is they don't understand how to go about selling it to a coach or they don't understand how to see progress in it themselves. And there's not this nice, easy way to quantify it, such as a 5-10-5 that you can use for change of direction or the 40-yard dash for linear speed. Um, So how we have gone about finding results, um, both from a qualitative standpoint and a quantitative standpoint, and what those results mean and why those results are important. This is a topic that I've definitely been fascinated by. I know our staff has been, um, and I think it's a a topic that most people are genuinely interested in. By the uh, end of the presentation, everyone has a a good understanding of why agility training is important, how to go about implementing it, and kind of taking some of the ideas that I present that myself and our staff have used, um, and hopefully people will take those things and run with them, and I can eventually learn from them some better ways to help improve the uh, performance of our athletes, because I know that we think it's a huge, huge area of emphasis, and it's a great way for us to actually have that kind of impact on the sport itself and making athletes better at the sport, Um, so it's something that I'm excited to share about, and I hope everyone's excited to listen to.